Hey, what's up, everybody? I am Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival. We're still outside of the Shamrock Tap House on our way to what I think was a turbine. I'm not exactly sure anymore, it's been a while. Uh, and we've been trudging through the city for so long that I don't really know what's what anymore. There's a boat in the middle of the city. I thought the USS Constitution was the only boat. But this little towboat seems to be here as well, and it's crawling with mire lurk. So that's definitely something I remember. But I think we're also pretty close to that place where we need to find the... Uh, yeah, the turbo pump bearings. That is supposed to be... Oh. We need to still go around the coastline for that because I won't be able to just swim across since I'm wearing power armor. Um, so I'm guessing... Okay. There's definitely still something around here. Uh, and those were gunners. Okay. There's a raider over there. And I missed him twice, but... I mean, third time's the charm. That was a great shot. I mean, that's, that's exactly par for the course with me. I would assume. Um, oh god. Um, hi. Uh, you can die now. There we go. I'm still in danger though. But I do have another... Ooh. Harbor Master Hotel. Well that's ironic that the Harbor Master Hotel has a boat outside of the hotel. Uh, god damn it I took 10mm ammo again. I'm still in danger. But I don't know from where exactly. Because... This place is on fire. It seems like it's another uh, super mutant camp with the meat bags flying around. Danger, but that's probably coming from inside the camp over here. And it doesn't seem like these guys have rafters of any kind, so let's just open up the door. Hello! Because that brings us to the coastline. We want to be at the coastline. They seem to be behind me, but then I'm not going to care, to be honest. Because, uh... If I don't need to fight these guys, I really don't need to fight these guys. It's fair enough. What is this building? I have no idea what this building is, but... Um, water is always dangerous. Oh god, what's that? More rats. Oh god, that's a legendary mole rat brood mother. Um, let's just shoot the head a bunch. Oh, and it mutated. Okay, this is gonna be bad. Oh, look, it's a biggie. Will you please hit it? No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, no. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ooh, I'm taking quite a bit of damage, actually. Um, let's just see. No, that's not the button to see. So, let's try that again. I don't have any criticals, but... There we go. I think there's still at least one more mole rat. Because I saw three in the back there. But incendiary synth left leg. Oh, gold. 30% chance to ignite melee attackers. Okay, I'll definitely take that and the meat. But that's another brood mother. Why are they all mothers? I mean, I like mothers, but no, 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 no. That was a nice orchestra, don't you think? Come on, die. Die, thank you. Thank you. Still in danger, but thank you. They're all dead now, I think. Unless another one pops up. Probably shouldn't have used the Nuka-Cola Quantum there. What the hell is that? Oh, that's one of those dead irradiated dolphins. Never mind, never mind. This doesn't seem like a marked location, though. So that's... Fine, I guess. No, no loot here either, although there's a dead guy. Hadrian's Invitation. The Jamaica Plane Fly. What the hell is all of that? He has a lot of... Ooh. He has a lot of stuff. Hadrian. Hadrian. Carl. Got a job you might be interested in. You know about Jamaica Plane, right? Place where they hid all that treasure before the war. No one's ever found it, account of all the ghouls. Sal's putting together a raid team. We still need a sniper. Even split of the loot. You up for it? If so, you know where to find me. Okay, so that's to kick off the Jamaica plane quest. Um, I know about that. It's it's nice enough. Ooh, 
Who's that? A wastelander on a boat. Two wastelanders on a boat. And this is, yeah, this is the irradiated dolphin. It looks horrifying. It looks horrifying. But I want to stay away from the water just a little bit. I've seen my fair share of my looks. I don't need to bump into any more. Uh, so let's just make our way around and I'll see you guys once anything interesting happens again. Oh god, I thought that was just one that was frozen for some reason, but there's a... What? What the? What? Why? Why is this... Uh, here? I don't want to shoot it. Is that thing good? Oh god, yeah, it's gonna react to me. Uh, get, kill the torso. There we go. Ooh, I hate rat scorpions. I really, really hate rat scorpions, but they have meat on them as well. Don't need the stinger, because I'm not making anything fancy. So, the turbo pump bearings are supposed to be in that building over there. Just gonna take a quick look to see if they, I can see what type of enemies we're gonna be dealing with. But for now, I don't really do. Yeah, the turbo pump bearings are supposed to be over there. And after that, I think I'm going to use the Brotherhood of Steel uh, pickup service to get me back to where I want to be. So there is a raider camp on the other side. Ooh. And this even looks very, very interesting. Seems like they even have some workstations over there. Because I see a cooking station, a chemistry station, and even a computer terminal. So I want to check this out. I think that guy over there is a raider. There goes his head, and we're still in hidden. That's really good. That's really good. I thought I saw somebody moving around inside. Oh. There's normal mongrels, but those are going to attack the raiders themselves, probably. Ooh, that guy is also dead. And then the... There we go. The turret goes down as well. Ooh, there's a legendary raider somewhere over there as well. But it's a normal legendary raider. Should probably move back a little bit. Uh, and the dogs. Those can't be their dogs, right? Oh, they definitely can. Is I think. Are they attacking each other or me? Oh, no, they're definitely attacking me. Um, hi. Um, attack dog and attack dog. Um. There we go. Oh, I think they saw me now. Wait. Oh god, there's still, there's still an attack dog here. I can't see it because of grass. But now I can. Goodbye. Kellogg's pistol is freaking powerful. Okay. So mongrel meat times six and I can cook that in a second. So I definitely should pick that up. Oh god. Stop shooting at me. I just want to kill you. Oh, wait, they, they lost me. They lost me. They lost me. So I'm guessing that guy has a post. Aha. He's gonna go up there and then just stand still, I suppose. There we go. That's where I like him. Just standing still. Oh, wow, that's a legendary. Never mind. I should probably pick Galox's pistol and then approach the camp. No landmines at first sight. I think I know where we are now. I, I do recognize this place. Um, let's go for the head and just critical him. There we go. That's one. And then the other guy is just a psycho, actually. So if he comes close, so yeah, the Andrew station, I knew where we are. Double shot. There we go. There he goes, and we're back to hidden. So that means that's probably all of it. I don't think I can use this as a settlement. Because uh, I was hoping I was going to be able to do that, but I don't think so. Mutant Slayer's Metal Right Arm. I'm not going to take that, because uh, it's going to be useless for me. Uh, but we are going to take the 44 ammo, because that's going to go to Kellogg's Pistol. And even though it's one of our most powerful weapons at the moment, I don't have a lot of ammo for it constantly. So let's go back to the Laser Pistol. So I think there's still somebody up top here who apparently didn't care about me brutally murdering her buddies. And there's, yeah, more stations over here. And a generator. So I'm really wondering if I can make this an outpost. Ah, there it goes. It's a waster. Um, I don't think... I do have a critical left, but... 
We'll probably start this off with a sniper rifle shot. There we go. She's down for the count anyway. Still twitching a little bit. But I'm guessing because she was firing at the vertibird we can hear in the distance. There it is. Uh, but I don't think we're going to have to... Ooh. Two more, two more pieces of armor. Um, cushioned fiberglass combat armor left leg. I'm going to grab that as well. I'm gonna, ooh, yeah, there it goes. Yeah, those things don't really survive all that long. Those vertibirds, so I was really glad when we were uh, attacking Fort Strong that I actually survived all of that because that's definitely not guaranteed. Um, is there anything else around here? Because I'm looking for the workstation, basically. But I feel like there's not one around here although i could actually google this really quickly because if this can be a settlement this would be a really really good position because it already has an armor a weapons workbench a chemistry station a cooking station so that's basically everything we need ah so sadly i looked it up it's not a possible um settlement so i won't be able to do anything fancy over here but what i will do is actually cook all the meat that I have and see if I can make some more adjustments to my weapons. Uh, for that, I need to make some space, but I can do that by dumping my junk in the weapons upgrade thing. It's, there might actually be a power armor station here as well, if that is the case. No, just checked on the same page and there's no power armor station. So I am gonna transfer all my junk over to that. Uh, then I'm gonna have to see if I stand up I can go out of it and use the weapons workbench to see if I can upgrade the yeah the overcharge capacity that goes up to yeah that's the maximum superior damage so that's ooh that's actually a lot but if I go to the photon exciter and equip that then I can use the other one, the overcharge capacitor. There we go. And that goes from 70, from 71 to 98. So that's superior damage and improved ammo capacity. I needed science 3 for that otherwise. So now it's overcharged. And then otherwise I can't really make anything. And then the sniper rifle quickly going to check. But I don't think I really need to adjust anything on that. Uh, and even on this... Doesn't seem like I have enough stuff to even do anything here. And it's actually pretty well equipped already. Uh, could go with a full stock, but otherwise... Yeah, I'm just going to damage myself here if I stay too long. Um, that also means that I can actually drop that extra sniper uh, laser rifle. Uh, so Marksman Excited Laser Rifle. Yeah, drop. And I think that's actually going to push us over into the next level. Because with the mud chops, that's gonna go up severely. Oh, just not. Rat scorpion steak. Two of those. And there we go, we got a level up from uh, making meat. I got a lot of meat, by the way. I've been picking up so much meat that I just leveled up from making food. Okay, there we go, a level up. Uh, that also means we can pick another perk, which we're gonna do in a second once I'm back into my power armor. And I I think we're pretty close to some very useful perks, so let's see. Nothing too interesting just yet, so I'm gonna go with, uh, you know, either Gunnut or Armory. And I think Armory is gonna be more useful in the short term. So let's go with Armory too, so we can start using that in combination with Science next time to actually upgrade our power armor further. So let's head out. I could explore the station itself as well, but I'm really, really want to focus on uh, getting that turbo, uh, the turbo pump bearings for the USS Constitution so we can wrap up that quest. And uh, that means that we're going to have to uh, skip a few of the locations. And I think I even see, is that, yeah, that's a suicide. If I can hit him, that's a good point. If I can hit him in the, the arm, I think I can just blow him up there we go and if there were any super mutants right next to him they're gonna ooh gold um i think i see his head oh i killed did i just kill that legendary enforcer in one go Ooh. 
So I'm gonna take a peek inside. Apparently one of the hounds also blew up. Together with the suicide, I would assume. Oh god. There goes a hound. And apparently the, the skirm there's definitely another skirmisher outside, uh, on top of the roof. Ghoulslayer sent right arm. We're really not getting weapons, by the way. Ghoulslayer sent right arm, I don't really need that. No what the hell is that? That's a big chunk of meat. Um, you can count me, they'll take that as well. Yeah, you do, but I mean, I'm just gonna pass by because I don't even think I need to tango with you. Uh, so let's just grab everything I can from the meat bags. And it doesn't seem like I even need to go into this building. So this was just just a little side tour. Don't really need to bother with this. There's another factory over here. And that probably makes a lot more sense that the turbo bags are going to be into... What's this? General... General Atomics. Oh. Again, an area I haven't really been to yet, I think. And I don't have an, a clue as to what is going to be in here. But I uh, guess we'll see. Okay. This is a wide open area to start in. And definitely enemies. But for some reason my weapon is down. Okay. There we go. That's better. I don't see anything just yet. And there's a receptionist terminal. So that's just a reminder about uh, being friendly to people who come in with their broken robots. Uh, to be friendly, because otherwise they're going to be mad, because they were talking about a new robot that they were making, the Miss Nanny model, and that this could cause people to come in with defective units, which is, it sounds really bad, because if this is a robotics factory and they're making a Miss Nanny robot, I would assume that that type of robot would not be uh, defective. Because, I mean, if it needs to care for a child, you don't want this thing to be defective now, do you? Oh, God. Well, there's a Mr. Handy, all right. Um, seems, though, he's not really a problem. He, he won't... There we go. Not a problem at all. Just three shots and he's down. Because, yeah, this boosted capacitor does about 25% more damage. Um, ooh, biometric scanner. Don't mind if I do. And that's gonna tick up rather nicely. Yeah. Nope, you won't. There was another handy in the room. He was gonna say something, but I kind of cut him off. Uh, yeah, biometric, why not? Why not, eh? Uh, more technical documents, that's always nice as well. But there seems to be another part to this area where we need to go. Uh, so let's keep that in mind while we just scavenge around for supplies rather quickly. Ooh. Nice. That is good. Energy weapons permanently inflict plus 5% critical damage. Another Tesla science. That's uh, definitely something I want. I hear the... Be able to pick this. The sound of like, I don't know, like a broken terminal or something like that. Something electrified that's broken, but it seems to be in this area. But I can't access, with a, access it without a key. So that means we should probably head down. There are a few other doors that are here. Can open this up, but that's probably gonna be yeah, the toilet. I probably don't have any use for toilets. Would this place be booby trapped? I feel like this shouldn't be booby trapped. Because we're not in Raider territory. They're just robots, and I don't think robots will be programmed to booby trap their own place. Famous last words. And I just turned packish. Packish from a lack of food. Ooh, it seems to. This looks like there was a, a t uh, another terminal, a turret over here. But now, doesn't seem like there's anybody here anymore. Somebody dropped the soap though. And this is a fancy door I can't even interact with. So, more and more secrets in this place. That's good. Let's take a look over here. Then this must be the factory floor. Oh, there's definitely, there's a Mr. Handy up there. I should probably be able to just Shoot it from here. There we go. And then we're still in danger. Should probably not just stand here. Oh, hi. Uh, please don't use the flamer. Oh, God. Doesn't seem to be able to hit me from here. Which is fine. An enhanced targeting card. This looks familiar. It looks like the factory you need to actually enter for the automatron... Uh, 
DLC at a certain point, although it's just different enough, I think, from that. Although it could be that, that that's also just the same factory, the General Atomics factory. There is a secondary area over there. I think with a bit of jumping, I might be able to reach that, but it still points me towards, I don't know, a basement of some sort for the, the turbo pump bearings. So let's jump across and over here into the next area. There's another Mr. Handy. I'm just going to check. Yeah, it's a normal one. But there's one down here as well. So I can start firing at this one. There we go, there goes the other one. And then the last one is upstairs. If I can locate the stairs. That's a hit. And it goes up there. I'm assuming there's gonna be I know what to do if I Jesus. Something. Jesus. Was that a, a Joker Joker rep for <laughs> a Joker reference? I wouldn't know what to do with you when I found you. Yeah, all of that. Good logo. Hi. Hi. Just just die. Just die. You're you're doing a really good job. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, there. I'm assuming Oh god! A Lieutenant Gutsy just shot off my arm. There we goes. There we goes. I lost my arms, but all my other body parts are still fine. So that's good, I suppose. Lots of Mr. Handies. There's a... There's the other Handy. And that... Is that the third? Can't, oh, there it is. I should probably not stand in front of it. But, uh, hey, the armor is protecting me rather nicely here. No That's advanced locked, so I can't really go over there. But this seems to move us further along still. There's a separate room here. I was looking at the mission markers wrong. So there's definitely something over there. That's the one thing we're looking for. Uh, bourbon and rat roach meat. That sounds like a good night out. So it seems like the game wants us to drop down. But there's radiation down there as well. Uh, and it, ooh, it's really ticking up. I'm just going to quickly check. Oh no, I can't check the terminal. So I need to drop down. And be rather quick about this, I would assume. Although... No, it seems like we're fine for now. Seems like we're fine for now. It's not starting up again. There's an armor workbench and the turbo pump bearings. There we go. 300 value and zero weight. Let's get the 44 rounds. There's a shotgun in there, but I just want to check if it's more powerful than the one we're already using. So it's... No, the one we're already using is more powerful. So it's 148. And the tactical one is 132. So let's just drop that. We still have 16 bits of uh, weight left. The auto pistol we don't really need. And then we need to get out of here. There is one more door over here. Mark test area. QA department terminal. So yeah, the welcome terminal actually talked about the fact that there's a new quality assurance wing. You know, for the Miss Nanny uh, units they were making here. Okay. Greetings, Unit 761. Welcome to the General Atomics Quality Assurance Department, where we assure your functionality is up to our high standards. We must run a few tests before returning you to your caregiving duties. Now, please, proceed into the first test chamber. Okay. Hi. First, we must test your disciplinary and behavioral management skills. A quality assurance associate will be playing the role of your hypothetical charge, Little Timmy. Little Timmy has broken a valuable vase while playing catch in the house. The vase was a family heirloom and it is quite irreplaceable. Please punish the child accordingly. Um. But fantastic. The appropriate punishment was separation of the child from any potential source of entertainment. And please remember, corporal punishment is strictly forbidden unless the user enables it in your configuration mode. Um, I, please proceed I, into the second test chamber. I just turned off the radio because I didn't want to get a copyright strike, but that just means I got that automatically. That's why I got experience as well. I'm just going to grab all the money here. 
Is, is that against the robot rule? So here they were testing out the Miss Nanny unit, so the, the quote-unquote female versions of the Mr. Handy. We must be able to identify the needs of our charges. Please assess the state of the crying child and fulfill its needs. Wah! Wow. Wah! Wow. Wah! Wow. Baby rattle? Where, where is the crying child? Oh, it just... There we go. Correct. The child was hungry. Your vocal tonality analysis programming seems to be in working order. Please take this opportunity to reconfirm that any deprecated muffling procedures are not left in your programming. Muffling no procedures? Proceed into the third testing chamber. I knew there was going to be something horrifying in here. Muffling procedures. I think they did some uh, some incorrect tests originally. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, the final test chamber. Now test your other detection matrices. Please child proof this environment by moving any hazardous object to where little ants cannot reach. Child proof the room. Child proof the room. Um well, the Gideon Buttercup is made for children so is changles the moon monkey child proof the room probably remove the giant hole in the floor maybe but i literally picked up everything and i'm still not in the clear uh i'm wondering what i'm missing here Ugh. okay never mind i found it there's a machete in the fridge let's move that out of the room or do I need to pick it up? There we go. All potentially fatal objects have been put out of a child's reach. Please remember, children have a penchant for finding ways to arm themselves. They never are truly safe. Absolute diligence is required. Congratulations! It appears you are fully functional and ready to return to service. Please take a replacement fusion core from the safe in the hallway on your way out. Oh, great. That's cool. I even get a little reward for this. Ooh, three fusion cores. Um, and I'm, 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 yeah, I'm carrying too much. I'm going to have to drop some more stuff. Like the four power coils, met the great circuit board, and the Gideon Buttercup over here. Okay, I really need to start uh, using some of my stuff because uh, I'm really out of space. Um, let's use this terminal to open up the final door, then I assume, to leave the QA wing again. That was actually a really cool side quest. Because um, it really worked on your actions instead of anything else. Which is something I really liked about this uh, Dishonored. Prey as well. Ah, and that's that door. Okay, so that makes sense. So, we got what we came here for. We also don't have any space left in our inventory. So that means we need to do something about that. And that means we're going to be using the Brotherhood of Steel for once. And I already hear a Vertibird, which is exactly what we want to do. Oh, and there's the skirmisher. Skirmisher is gonna spot me. Um, let's get him in the head. And get him from across the map. There we go. Well, not really across the map, but at least he's gone now. Now. What's up with that other vertebird? Oh, who the hell? Ah, that's a Brotherhood Knight. They are actually over here. That's good, but I'm gonna equip my signal grenades. And I'm going to use those right now to get us back to the Pridwin. Because the Pridwin is pretty close to the USS Constitution. And the Pridwin is where we also have a workbench and stuff like that. So if I just toss that over here. There we go. A vertebrate bird has been sent to your location. And now we just have to wait a little bit for it to arrive. I think that might be it. It's coming in. It shouldn't get shot from anything, by anything. Because uh, I cleared out that building from Super Mutant, so we should be... We should be fine. There's a little twitching. But I'm guessing that's just because of that Brotherhood of Steel guy that's wandering over there. Uh, the Pridman is also going to be important because we need to repair our power armor. And uh, stuff like that. And I think after that we can even use the Pridman... Uh, the Pridman. The Vertibird to get us somewhere else as well. Th this should be fine, right? I'm just gonna move it back a little bit. Where's it gonna land? Are, are you here for me? 
Ça. Ça. Okay, he's landing over there. Oh, that's not good. There's uh there's some ghouls around here. There goes one and the other one. Yeah, there we go. Just need to fight my way to uh there's another one coming, right? Yeah. There we go. Please don't go yet. We're still in danger. We're still in danger. Where the hell? You're halfway into this very dangerous looking machine. But hi, guys. Let's go to. Ow. For fuck's sake. There we go. Was that the last one? No, there's another one. Can you please go? I I want to go. That's another one. There's a... Wow. There's one all the way up there. But I probably need to sh shoot, shoot at that one. There we go. Can I now? Nope. Oh, wow. Okay, hi. I'm just gonna... Just gonna... Where is he? There he is. That's a reaver. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I kill it in one go. And then that guy can also... Well, I just go to two shots. Wow. If that vertebrate would have just parked where I told him to park... Ooh. Penetrating combat rifle ignores 30% of the target's damage and energy resistances. That's good, but that means I'm over encumbered. Um, I need to drop some stuff. I'm carrying that exterminator shadowed leather uh, chest piece with me from quite some time. And it's just for, well, reducing damage from bugs. And I think the one I'm carrying right now, the 1717. But has pocketed. So I think I might even just get rid of that one. Yeah. So that should, yeah. That should allow us to now ride the vertebrate. There we go. And I think if I recall this correctly. Because I've barely used this before. Aha. Now we can use the map. To actually set a, a, a location where we need to go. So we're going to go to the Peridwin. Yes. Instruments read all clear. So it says fast travel, but uh, but of course since fast travel has been disabled in survival, Good we just, well, we, we can just shoot at things. But normally she flies high enough, if you go to the Pridman, she flies high enough to uh, avoid most of the enemies. So we don't really need to worry about that, so let's see you guys at the Pridman. Oh, oh, yeah, we're flying straight through the Pridman. That's not, not good, but oh. And it's going to drop us off. Is it going to drop us off in the Pridman or? Are you kidding me? What are you? What are we going up? I think we're going up. Yeah, we're going up. There we go. Whew. Okay. And leave. There we go. That's good. That's good. So fix up the power armor like that. And I, I'm not really sure. Yeah, we're out of... Uh, well, we don't have uh, too much equipped right now. Carrying right now. We're not over carry weight capacity. God damn, I can't talk anymore. Let's see if we can uh, barter with I'll you. So I bought a special thing from him. I bought uh, a piece of combat armor from Tegan. And it's combat armor that's really, really interesting. So I'm gonna... There is an armor workbench here, right? Supposed to be. Yeah, there it is. I'm gonna remove the pocketed bit, uh, so let's just go with Brotherhood of Steel combat armor and just no miscellaneous. Then I can put those two upgrades on the commando. Polymer combat armor is better, but lead lines, lead lines, reduces radiation damage. I don't really need that, I'm gonna go for pocketed instead. So if I do that, I can exit the station. Um, hopefully I'm fast enough. And then I can equip the commando chest piece. So that increases the action point refresh speed and increases also my resistances against uh, just normal and energy damage. So that's good. And then I can just drop the original chest piece I was wearing, which is supposed to be... There it is. There it is. Dropped. And now I can just go back into the power armor and lose... No health whatsoever. There we go. So I still need signs if I want to do anything else about my uh, power armor itself. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just dump all my remaining resources 
down in the workbench uh, underneath the Pridwin and then go back and take a nap. And with that, I've optimized my, uh, my equipment a bit. So I think for the first time in a very long time, I can just get out of my power armor and not break my legs immediately once I do that. If I recall correctly, this is, helmet. yeah, this do is my that. bed. So let's see. I can't accept my armor here. I can do it right here. There we go. That's my armor. And I am no longer over encumbered, so we can actually sleep. And with that, we have a nice safe spot to do end the episode. Let's take a look at our lovely lady. So Louise, this is what she still looks like because we've seen her in power armor a lot lately. But uh, this is what she still looks like and uh, she's still combat ready. So we're gonna take a little break, but next time we're going on a grand adventure. We're going back to the USS Constitution. We're gonna go to the north and try and get into the, uh, the, the, the insane asylum. Uh, and see if we can find a bobblehead over there. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fallout for Survival. And uh, see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.